Guys, 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 I'm just going to be sharing one tip today. And this one tip, I promise you, is going to make sure that you achieve your blends even smoother and even faster. So you guys are still here and you must be wondering what is this one tip that I'm going to be sharing with you. Fundamentally, blending is really important because it is the difference between non-metallic metal looking like bands or non-metallic metal looking really really creamy and super duper smooth. That blend is the difference and sells the effect of many things such as non-metallic metal, object source lighting and many other concepts in miniature painting. Oh Collective, you are such a tease. What is this tip? Are you going to click off? Don't click off because I promise you that this tip that I'm going to share with you guys can be used with all types of blending, wet blending, layering, anything in the market. I promise you, if you keep this in mind, you definitely blend a lot better. So for this tutorial, I'll be using one of the armor panels from this Chaos Knight. I've chosen this armor panel specifically because it has big and open surface areas and it's going to allow me to demonstrate it to you guys how to achieve a blend quickly and easily. So let's not waste any more time and I'll stop being at ease and let's get straight to demonstrating. Alright, here I'm going to be using Mr. Hobby which is a lacquer paint. I know this is kind of unconventional from my usual painting style but I find that lacquer metals tend to be a lot smoother and a lot more glossy. I think it really looks a lot more like metal and you should give it a try. However, if you don't have this, you could always just mix Retributor Gold with a little bit of silver. Maybe Stormhold Silver, I think that would be really good. Next up, I'm going to be doing a little bit of base coating right here. Right here, I'm going to be using AK Gen 3 Black. I must say that this is the best black paint that I've used. Honestly, I've used quite a bit of black paint in my career as a miniature painter, but this dries really smooth and matte. Alright, one tip to achieve smooth blends first is that your base coat needs to be extremely smooth. Do it in multiple layers so that you don't clog up the details and remove any particles that might have been deposited on the surface. Okay, so now we have achieved the base coat and what is this tip that I'm going to share with you guys? Fundamentally, when blending, right here, you see that you have to achieve a smooth transition between value, which is the brightness and darkness, as well as saturation, which is the intensity of the color. If you have seen many conventional blending tutorials, basically what you would be doing would be to layer all the way from dark gradually to a lighter color because you're trying to achieve the volumetric highlights right here. But what if I told you that it would be so much easier to blend into a darker colour? That's something that I learned when painting this black armour panel. Alright, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight to the demonstration. Alright, so this is a mix of black grey and black. This is to produce a really dark blue colour and this is meant to be an initial highlight. Originally, when I planned to do this video, I wanted to share more about layering However, I really thought that wow, this process is so tedious because as you can see, after we have produced one layer, there is hardly any difference at all and it's very hard to control where the paint will end up. Similarly, this is for the tie armor and as you can see, not much difference. Oh my god. Just how many layers must I take to achieve an opaque layer of black grey? That's just impossible, and this is definitely not the way that I'll be creating my smooth blends. That was absolutely a disaster. I'm definitely not going to use that technique to create smooth blends. For this demonstration, I've already painted the areas that I wanted to highlight in the shape and proportion of the light grey. And next, I'm going to be blending into the darkness. Let's take a look at how I'm going to do it. Look at how much easier it is. Just by adding a little black and lame medium into the light grey, this layering process is a lot faster. Wow. So right here, you can see how efficient this technique is. Because darkening colours is definitely going to be so much more easy and efficient. However, you got to take note that blending to darker colours is very very drastic. So you want to do this a little bit more gradually if this is the first time that you're trying this. And let's see the entire process done in real time. The next colour I'm going to be using is Pale Blue. 
pure pale blue right here, I'm going to be just drawing the final result of how I envision the strong highlight to be. This allows me to work backwards and in my opinion, I feel that it's a lot easier to paint with an end goal in mind rather than just layering endlessly and hoping that the final result is what you want. Okay, so now with the final result done, I'm going to be adding in a little bit of pale blue with black grey so that I can just blend this down. This is thinned down with a little bit of water to really allow the translucency and I'm blending back into the darker colour which is black grey. As you can see, so much faster and so much easier. And there we have it. This is the very smooth armour panel that I've created. It's not exactly smooth but it's pretty efficient looking pretty sweet. So if you integrate painting from light to dark into your blending technique, I promise you that your blending is going to get so much faster and it's going to be so much less of pain in the ass to achieve these smooth blends. So you must really like the Chaos Knight, right? Why not click the video right here where I achieve the verdigree for my Chaos Knights just by using washes.